I was recently on babylist.com and saw that they have a whole bunch of sample registries. I thought it would be fun to go through their sample registry for parents expecting twins and just kind of see what they put on and give my opinions on it. Let's get right into it, but before we do, I have to shamelessly plug my channel. Please like and subscribe if you have not already, and if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys. All right, let's get into the registry review. Twice as many babies doesn't have to mean twice the stuff. Our twin registry will get you on the right track. So the first item on their list is this Halo Twin Bassinet Swivel Sleeper Luxe Series. And holy crap, it is $450. I don't know if Babylist is assuming that all people that are giving birth to twins are really, really rich, but this would have been outside of my budget. I haven't personally used this item, so you know I can't speak in detail about it. It looks like it would be nice if you can afford it. I've heard great things about just the regular one baby halo bassinets. It would be really nice if you're recovering from a C-section to not have to get out of bed to go get your twins. You can just swivel the halo bassinet and just tend to whatever twin needs your help. But I will say $450 is a very large price tag. So if you can't afford that, no worries. There's plenty of other sleep options for newborns. Oh, and it looks like their number two option they have is more affordable. They have the Graco Pack and Play Play Yard with twin bassinets. And it is $175. So much, much more affordable. Just like the last one, I didn't personally own this. I have heard really good things about this and I do have multiple twin mom friends that use this during the newborn phase and loved it. If you're a little bit more budget conscious, this is a totally fine option. The only downside between this and this Halo Sleeper is you would have to get up out of your bed to get whatever twin needs your help. I feel like the lower price point option is what I would go for, even if I had a lot more disposable income, just because the newborn phase lasts such a short period of time and bassinets are really only going to be used for four to six months. Once your baby's able to like really move it all or start even just pulling up or sitting up a little bit, you don't want them in a bassinet because you don't want them to accidentally crawl out or slip out and get hurt. The next item they have is this Munchkin Nursery Projector and Sound System. And their reasoning behind this is when trying to sleep train two babies, it is nice to have at least one sound machine to help the other baby sleep if the other one keeps waking up. Now this is true. We have a sound machine in our twins' room. We've had it We've actually had to go through a few because a few times the twins have broken them. <laughs> a sound machine in general, even if you have one baby, is nice to drown out noise so that they sleep soundly and don't wake up. But especially when you have twins, the sound machine definitely will help whoever's still sleeping hopefully stay asleep through their siblings crying. Next item is this Skip Hop Silver Lining Activity Gym. This is a really cute activity gym. I have a different activity gym that I used for my newborns that was pretty large. It's in my twin registry must have video that you can check out after this. But this, this one looks really cool too. And it's true, you don't necessarily need two of these. Both of your newborns can kind of play in the same little play gym, but it is sometimes also nice to have options. Next is the Skip Hop Explore and More Activity Center. I can't tell if this one is a bouncer or if they just stand here, but yes, activity centers are going to be your best friend once your babies are able to support their head. So just a little bit after the newborn stage, when your babies are probably like four months plus, sometimes you have to pump or clean the kitchen or wash dishes or do some laundry. And you're gonna need something like this or a jumper or bouncer of some sort to keep baby entertained and distracted so you can get some stuff done. 
Next is this, oh, this is a really good suggestion. This Baby Move Love Nest Infant Head Support Pillow. It's $20. Twins are often born a little bit early and just for the fact that you can't always be holding two babies at the same time, the sad reality is with twins, they probably will be laying down a little bit more than if you had one baby unless you have just help around the house all the time to always be holding babies. So it is more common for twins to get a flattening on the back of their head. One of these circular pillows, I didn't have this one specifically, but any of these, of these pillows that kind of have a little donut hole in the middle are great for baby. You just, anytime they're laying down on their back, you put it behind their head and it helps prevent flattening of the head. Next, we're getting into car seat strollers. So they're recommending the Maxi Cozy Miko Max 30 Infant Car Seat. And the reason they're recommending this one is it has a lot of adapters, so you can click it into lots of different things. Strollers, not things. I guess their big reasoning behind this one is it's one of the lightest car seats there is. Yeah, that that is great to have light car seats. However, whoa, $242 for a single car seat? That's a lot of money for a single car seat, especially when you have to buy at minimum two since you're going to be having two babies. That's a $500 investment in just car seats, which is a lot of money. So that's cool that they are recommending the lightest car seat option since you're going to have to have two, but there are plenty of much cheaper car seat options since you're going to have to buy two. I personally use Graco 35 car seats and they can range anywhere between $100 to $150. Sometimes you can get them for even cheaper because Target sometimes has, has really generous sales. There are other options if you're on more of a budget, but I guess the lightest, if you want the lightest of the lightest car seats, get the Maxi Cozy. And then for the first double stroller recommendation, they have the Baby Trend Universal Double Snap and Go Stroller Frame. And this really is a good stroller frame for the price. It's only $61. That's so cheap, especially when you start looking at all the double strollers there is out there. This is probably one of the cheapest of the kind, but you do get what you pay for. It does have really, really tiny wheels. So if you live in a place that's not always going to have perfectly paved roads for you, or if you live in a place that it snows or freezes a lot these little wheels are not going to go through ice snow gravel grass it's really only going to go through nicely paved sidewalks if you live in southern california this could be a great option but if you live where there are some real elements you're going to want something heavier duty i actually do have this baby jogger city select with the second seat configuration and yes it is very expensive. Um, I actually have a review on this. I'll link it down below. I bought mine used off at the Facebook market because I could not afford $700 on a double stroller, but it is my most prized possession. It is amazing. It is like my fourth child. I love my City Select double stroller. It has the huge wheels so it can get through all types of terrain. You can operate it with one hand, which for me is really important because I text a lot. And I mean, to me, it it's totally worth at least buying used because you can get some pretty good prices when you buy it used off Facebook Market or Nextdoor app. Next is this lightweight side-by-side -side stroller from Chico. It's the Chico Echo Twin Stroller. I haven't personally used this one, but it is nice to have a lightweight second stroller option because sometimes if you're just you know you want to quick get in and out of target just for one little thing or you're planning on just walking around the mall and you don't need your big baby jogger double stroller it is nice to just have a lightweight twin stroller that you can pop open and close super easily and just get around kind of 
tighter spaces. The next item is the Buggy Bench. This product was designed by Mother Twins to make shopping with two young kids easier. It creates a second seat in your grocery store cart. Personally, wouldn't use this Buggy Bench because I would need space in my cart to actually put the groceries. So having a whole child taking up space would get in the way. If I have to go into the grocery store with my twins, I use my Baby Jogger City Select double stroller because I can operate it with one hand super easily. I can put lots of snacks in the little snack trays to keep my twins happy. And then I have a full cart to use to fill up with groceries. And what I'll do is I'll push my double stroller with one hand in the front and then I'll pull the cart behind me that's full of groceries. And to me, that's just a lot easier. The next is they have a baby carrier suggestion. They're suggesting the Twin Go Original Baby Carrier. $214 is pretty expensive for a baby carrier, but if it holds two, it's well worth it. However, I personally don't like this style of baby carrier because... I mean, maybe I'm just naive. Maybe I need to do a little more research into this. But how do you get this little dude in the back? That doesn't seem that safe to me. And it doesn't seem like something you could do when you're by yourself. Which to me, when I need a baby carry two babies, it's usually because I'm by myself and I don't have anyone helping me. So I don't even understand how this kid ends up back here. And if he needs anything, how do you give him anything when you can't even really see him? I have a couple other baby carriers that I recommend in my twin registry video that I feel like were, were better options for me. Next is the Simple Wishes Hands-Free Breast Pump Bra. I actually do have one of these. I used it for a little bit, but honestly, I if I'm really in a hurry, I don't even have time to take off my shirt and bra and put one of these contraptions on. Yes, it, it is nice to have two hands available. You maybe have to work on your computer and you need both hands for typing. If that's a common occurrence in your life, this, this could be really worth it for you. Next is the Twin Z pillow for $100. I've heard great things about this. I wish I would have registered for this because it's not only useful for breastfeeding, but you can also use it to bottle feed your twins because it's basically like a double boppy pillow. You can't really tell in this picture here. It is a really great prop for both of your twins and then you can bottle feed both of them. Next is a bumbo floor seat. I had two bumbo floor seats, one for each of my twins. And it also had like a little activity tray in front of them to keep them entertained. And it was, it's not like a must have, but it was a nice to have for my twins. Oh, and yep, they have the, the little tray here. Next is the table for two feeding system for $280. So it is quite expensive. I don't think it's a must have, but it would be a nice to have. Ultimately, if you get the twin Z pillow where you can prop your babies for bottle feeds, that that really covers covers everything and you wouldn't need this as a result. Next is the Dr. Brown's Natural Flow Newborn Bottle Gift Set. It's a good idea to have 10 to 16 bottles per baby. Seems like a lot. Babies go through these very quickly. You'll be happy when you aren't spending your days washing out plastic bottles. I mean, 16 bottles per baby sounds like a lot. I mean, maybe 10 bottles per baby. But I actually wouldn't necessarily suggest buying a huge bottle collection before ever meeting your babies. All the bottles have different nipple shapes and just like, you know, regular people have different preferences for things, babies have different preferences for things. And some babies that are really picky, like my twins were, they reject a lot of the different nipples on different bottles. We tried Avent, we tried Nuke, we tried... I feel like so many different bottles and ultimately we did end up with Dr. Brown's so I really like Dr. Brown's but not all babies may like it so don't make the mistake I made and buy a huge bottle collection and then just find out that your twins will not take those types of bottles. This is cool. I wish I had tried this. Um, I never did for my twins. 
I had never seen this until my twins were beyond their bottle phase, but I've seen pictures of this in use and it is genius for before your babies can hold their bottles. So one of the biggest struggles if you're still expecting twins is if both of your babies are hungry for their bottle at the same time, it's not always super easy to hold up both of the bottles if you have other things to do or sometimes like your baby won't just lay and take the bottle. If they have a little bit of reflux, they may wiggle around a little bit more. And the cool thing about these bottles is the bottle can basically rest near the baby and then the nipple goes into their mouth and you don't have to hold prop the bottle slash they don't have to hold the bottle themselves if they're not old enough to do it and they can still be fed. This is genius. Whoever invented this like deserves to be a billionaire but I guess I haven't tried it, so I don't wanna pump it up too much, but I've heard really good things about it from moms who have used it. Next is receiving blankets slash burp cloths. No comment on that, I mean, it's fine. These Medela Quick Clean Micro Steam Bags. Every bit of time saved with twins helps. Steam cleaning nipples and bottle parts in just a few minutes. I actually like don't, know anything about this. I've never heard of this before. So I guess it just steam cleans and sterilizes the smaller parts of your bottle. I mean, I guess I guess that's cool. I've, I've never even heard of that before. Next are the bathtub options. So first is this blooming bath bathtub for baby. This, this is pretty cool. I never personally owned this, but it's like this little soft flower bath that you can stick into your sink. The other option for a tub is something more like this. I used one similar to this, and your baby is able to just lay down and you fill it with water and give them a bath. <laughs> Next, we're getting into nursery decor. So the first thing they have is this Baby Relax Double Rocker. I actually did buy this. I was sold on it being super wide, so it's perfect for having twins. And it's not perfect for twins, one baby, 10 babies. Like, it is not a good product. It isn't a glider. It's like, it is a truly rocker. Like, these are wood rockers right here on the bottom. I have carpeting in my room. On the carpeting, like, it didn't rock. It was this huge chair that I had to put so much muscle in to rock it. And it, it just didn't really rock. It was basically just like a giant hard chair. I actually went to Bye Bye Baby and just bought a regular old glider and that works perfectly fine. In fact, better than this one. Please, please don't buy this. I guess if there's one thing that you take away from this baby registry review is do not buy this. Next is just a crib suggestion. I, I personally don't really like traditional cribs like this because I always had issues with my little boy's legs getting stuck in the slats or they'd run into the rails because the rails are not soft and it would startle them and wake them up. With my current singleton, he actually just sleeps in a pack and play because the pack and play has nice soft sides. So if he runs into the side, it doesn't wake him up. It's not noisy if he runs into the sides. It's all mesh around the whole thing. So no little legs are gonna get trapped or stuck anywhere. And I mean, a pack and play is a travel crib. It is a crib. It's just not, it's just a nice soft crib, not a hard, cold crib. Next, they have some book suggestions. I bought a lot of twin parenting books and there's only so much you can do to prepare for twins, let alone one baby. You kind of learn as you go when you're a parent. Last two items are just milestone cards for the twins for, you know, your cute Instagram photos. Overall, I think Baby List did a pretty good job with this twin baby gear registry. It by no means covers everything you would possibly need for your baby registry. I mean, obviously it's geared towards like twin specific things, but you would still need diapers, baby monitors, swaddles, clothes. Like there's a lot of stuff that isn't covered on this list that you would still need to look into. But overall, I think it has a lot of really good suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my twin must-haves on a baby registry video, which I will have linked below, as well as some of my other twin videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.